Welcome back. Let's look at the journey that we will be taking today. As I said in the beginning, we are going to look at two types of financial documents. The first one is going to be household bills, and then the second one is banking documents. These are two groups that we use every day. Now, a household bill include account statements for electricity, telephones, water, utilities, anything like that. It can be shopping documents like till slips or um, clothing account statements. And then it can also include pay slips and salary advice slips. An account statement is sent to clients on a regular basis, normally once a month. A record of transactions showing purchases bought on credit, interest charge, amount due and all payments that have been made and a receipt for money paid by you. It's a proof of payment. Let's look at this account statement. This is a electricity bill and we will be looking at that and then answer the questions that follows. So first of all, the blue one that's highlighted now is showing us the municipality details. It is Sivukele Municipality and the address is 43 Bosbok Street. Then the purple ones is going to be the client details. So this is for Miss Anna Sitole and she stays at 1 to 1 Little Eden Estate, Steve Biku Street. The green part is your invoice number so that you have got a reference number. And then the orange part that is highlighted shows you the information of the bill. It shows you the cost calculation so that you know what you need to pay and why you need to pay it. Then the arrears section, that gives you your payment history. Whether you are in arrears or maybe you paid more than you should have, then you are in credits with them. And then the total due, this shows you the payment advice, what you need to pay and by when you need to pay it. Let's look at questions. How many kilowatt hours of electricity did Ms. Sitole use? So, what we need to know is that there is an electricity reader, a meter, and as you use it, the meter goes up. So, what they do is they go and do meter readings. So, the previous reading was given on the statement and the current reading. The current reading is 221,299, and the previous reading is 221,286. So the difference between the two is our usage. So it's going to be how many kilowatt hours used, the previous and the current reading. The, the current one minus the previous one. And then you'll see they were hardly home because they only used 31 kilowatt hours. I think load shedding really hit them. What is the charge per kilowatt hour? Now with a question like this, you need to know where to look for it. Next to the usage, it will show the kilowatt hours price. So the charge is 0.315 rand per kilowatt hour. So it's almost 32 cents. Calculate the subtotal. Now where is the subtotal? The subtotal is B and that is what the cost for the electricity is. So we calculated that they used 31 kilowatt hours times the rate 0, 
315 and then that gives us 9,765 but because it's money we are going to round to two decimals so it's going to be 9,777 and that is then the subtotal. Calculate the VAT. Now remember VAT is 15%. Therefore, I owe them 9 rand 77 times the VAT 0 0.15. And that is then 1 rand 46. Calculate the missing value D. Now, the missing value D is going to be the subtotal that we calculated, 9 rand 77, plus the that, 1 rand 46, and that is 11 rand and 23 cents. Did she settle her previous account in full? Now, because they want to know about the previous account, we need to go and look at the payment history. In arrears, by 30 days, there is an amount of 78 rand 92. So, did she, did she settle it in full? No, she didn't. She short paid by 78 rand 92 cents is still to be paid. Calculate the total due at the end of the month. Now the total due is going to be D, which is 11 Rand 23 for this month, plus the total due for the previous month, 78 Rand 92, and that gives you a total of 19 Rand and 12 cents. Let's quickly look at a telephone bill. So the first part is the service provider. It's let's chat. The second one shows you the contract holder, Mr. P. Como. Then there's an account number, a payment date that's due. So it tells you when the next payment is due. There's a summary of the account telling you what was the previous balance, did you pay, and what is the opening balance of this statement. So it's your previous invoice summary. Then the latest account details, what happened this month, what do you need to pay. And then there's invoice totals showing you what do you need to pay this month. Let's quickly look at some questions. Identify and write down the account number. Now the account number is somewhere there at the top and it's E86092. A. It's quite a long one. What is the base fee of this contract? So now if we go and look at the base fee, the monthly charges. So the contract base fee is 1,567 Rand 80. Did Mr. Cormo settle his previous account? Give reason for your answer. Yes, he did. There's an opening balance. Of four cents and it is a credit. It also shows you there with the previous invoice. Why is there cash rounding? Now remember with cash rounding some coins is taken out of the system. So we don't use five cents 
is no longer in use. So when we pay with cash, we can't pay anything between zero and 10 cents because there is no five cents anymore or two cents or even one cents. So therefore the cash rounding is rounded to the nearest coin that is available. And this brings us to an ad break. Quickly take a breather, get yourself a glass of water and I'll see you now. <laughs> 